Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another session of Abacus Tutorial. Uh, actually, this session is a continuation to our previous session in which we have modeled the rotary bending process. Uh, if you had seen that video, we modeled a rotary bending process on a uh, metal blank and uh, the result is shown in here. In this video, uh, we want to calculate the spring back phenomena in which happens in most of the uh, metal bending processes. So if you are new to this phenomena and you know anything, you don't know anything about this, you can see uh, our previous video in which the link to that video is written in the description. And uh, in that video, we have explained the rotary bending and the spring back phenomena, and we have simulated a step by step simulation. And uh, here you can see the results. So, for calculating the spring back, uh, we should go back again to our model, uh, the model in which we created, and we make a copy to that model. So I have done that already. First, let me delete that one. Okay. To do this process uh, step by step again, first, we should make a copy from our model. Okay, copy model and model one copy is okay. <clears throat> in this model, in the new model, we should go to step module and first we should delete all the steps we created uh, in which we created one dynamic explicit step and so we delete it okay then uh, we must create another step but this time our step must be static general so okay and uh, the time period is equal to one uh, the nl geometry is off okay next we should go to load module we create a new uh, but uh, as you know uh, these parts in which we had uh, are for the simulation of rotary bending in this model in this simulation we just need the uh, the blank so here we can delete all the other parts I click all of them and despite the blank and delete yes uh, you can delete the materials or uh, anything else that uh, is uh, is relevant to those deleted parts but Right now we are okay with this. Next, we should go to load module and create a new boundary condition. Type of boundary condition is velocity, angular velocity. Continue choosing this surface and, uh, sorry, the boundary condition must be defined on step one. This surface and assigning zero to all the linear and uh, angular velocities okay next we should create a predefined field here step must be on initial and the initial state must be chosen by choosing the blank this window occurs in this place here we should write the name of the job that we had simulated and uh, submitted uh, the rotary bending process. Uh, I had done this simulation once before and the name of that job was job 1 R4. Okay. Now uh, the result state of that job is uh, imposed to the blank as the initial state in this simulation. Next uh, the only job we have to do is to go to job module and create a new job. Uh, I want to name this job 
spring back and this based on model one copy okay and submitting this job uh, do I had copied my model from uh, the last simulation and from my model one and then I have deleted some of the parts uh, as I told you some of the uh, constraint or uh, properties or anything relevant to those deleted parts uh, may cause problems now the warning was that in constraint we have a constraint in which the relevant part is deleted so here we should delete this constraint too then I should check for other constraint uh, do I have only one part I don't need any interaction property so I can delete this interaction property too and uh, one other thing is the property module in which here I have one blank and uh, I need only one material but I had uh, made another material to assign for the rocker so now I can delete this material too and the relevant section okay once again going to job module and submitting job spring back okay the job is submitted Uh, as you can see, the spring back calculation in this model was a uh, light calculation and the process was uh, completed very fast. Now, by clicking on results, we can see the results. Okay. Uh, let's click on animate and let me show this somehow slower. Okay, now you can see that the blank is trying to get back to its uh, first position, which is the flat position, but it cannot. It can only uh, experience and make a few displacements, uh, and during this displacement, the blank tries to release its uh, elastic uh, strings okay and as you can see in the first increment this is how the blank is in which it is the uh, moment after all the tools or the bending tools are removed from the blank uh, by increasing the increments, you can see that the blank is trying to uh, get back to its initial position, which is the flat position, but of course it cannot. And it can only release its elastic strain and tensions. Uh, one other thing we can do is to create a uh, figure of the displacement of this blank. For this, we should uh, press on create XY data and creating on ODB field output. Counting. In this window, uh, we should Create on, uh, click on 
unique nodal and then choosing U U2 which is the uh, uh, sorry uh, then we should choose the magnitude of the displacement of this partial displacement then we should go to element and notes tab and click on pick from viewport then edit selection and choosing this node of the blank and at last we should click on plot to see the displacement of this node of the blank uh, okay thanks for watching this video if this video was useful to you uh, please subscribe our channel and like the video and uh, share the channel so your friends and uh, other uh, colleagues can see this video. Thank you very much and have a good